We're on Shir number 26, it's Simon Shin Yad Ches, Sif Yad Gimel. It says in the Chab, I'm going to lead to a kitah in Shalmayim, you'll have to put a, a jug of water, a shalshan mashkim, or any other type of, of liquid, the klisheni, you'll have to put it into a klisheni, she is by Mayim Chan, and it has it in hot water, I will clear Risha in Osir, but in the clear Risha in Allah put it. Now we have this four, it's if you're basically ready, you let it pour into a klisheni. The Chavah said, before you pour mutter, lots of Mayim Chamen, lots of Mayim Tzainen, or Tzainen, lots of Chamen, who shall you have a clear Risha in? So a klisheni says in the Chavah, before you're ready, it's if you're based, you let it pour water into a klisheni. So what's the Mechaber being Mechadish over here in Tzif Yud Gimel? Basically, it's repeating Tzif Yud Beis, you let it pour from any water or mashka into a klisheni. So the Mishabur is bothered by this kasha. The Mishabur says, Tzif Khan Yud Gimel, Tzif Khan Pei Baba means, The Mishmur says over here, after Maya Belvad, Beloy Kli, Gamkein Mutter, even though we know even plain water, not in a Kli, is Mutter to pour into a Klisheni, Mutter to Arab Tai Klisheni, Uchanab Sifid Beis, Nakatai De Kli, Mishum Sefa, Mishum Sefa. The Chiddush here is the end of Sif Yud Gimel, Bashmina, the Bikli Rishain, a full of Ayadeh of Sakas Kli also. By a Kli Rishain, even if it's in a kli, the water is in a different kli, you're not allowed to put that kli into a kli rishon. Now, don't think you're only now allowed to put it into a kli rishon when it's the water directly into the, into the kli rishon. But if it's in another kli, it won't get cooked so easily, so you're allowed to put it into a kli rishon. <laughs> says the Mishibru, that's a chiddush over here of Sif Yud Gimel. You're allowed to put it into a kli, they are not allowed to put it into a kli rishon even though it's in another kli. Wait, wouldn't the bigger Kiddush be putting the liquid directly? Correct. Oh, yeah, because... So the Kiddush is that you cannot put in even... In a Kli. A kli in, even in a Kli. That's how the Mishmur learns the Kiddush over here. So there's a Sefer called Menor HaTahir over here. It's an interesting Sefer, very Shemach and Sefer. He says that the Kiddush of Sif Yud Bey Yud Gimel is, is that... We know from our tomorrow, let's, let's see the task first. The task says, but klisheni she yesh by mayim. They let it put it, this water that has in it, this kli that has in the water into a klisheni. It says the task, we want to eat the perikida, the only rab, rabbi, the shimmer, rab dimi, tol but klisheni v'tayim. Put it into klisheni, they need to put it in. The kasam number here, they say, but sadly base, the pinish with shamas bayer, they were so yab with klibeikam and actually bishayim. Okay, one second. This, I didn't want to see this yet. We'll get to this soon. Okay, we'll see now. We'll, we'll get back to the soya with the ray coming at Klerishayim. If you take out with a ladle from a Klerishayim, the Oysa at Klerishayim, Yeshla did Klerishayim the Chumra. This we spoke about a few times, that a ladle, if you, if you leave it in long enough, it gets the din of a Klerishayim, the Chumra. The Loi Lekula. Now we'll get back to this part of Taz in a second. We'll look at the end of the Taz. The El Simiration of Ches, Kasavnu. The Ein Litmoin Chol Hakli Betoy Hakli Sheni. You now let it put a whole, the whole Kli into a Kli Sheni. Meaning, when it says over here, you let it put a Kitan Shalmayim into a Kli Sheni. Says the Taz, you let it put it in, but you can't. You can't emerge emerge the whole Kli into the Kli Sheni. <laughs> Why? The Im Kain. How will they have tomorrow? Then it's already called that tomorrow. Now the tzorach liya is magul of the mayal. It has to be uncovered on top. So the, the task has a chumrah over here. When you want to put something into a klisheni, then now that it fully emerge it into the klisheni, because if you do, it's that tomorrow. So the task says... Fully emerge meaning the top is covered as well. Task just means the top is covered also. Yeah. 
So here we're talking about a case in New Guinea where the top isn't covered? Well, you leave it, you leave it out, so leave part of the Kli out of the Klisheni. Immersed partially in. Only immersed partially into the Klisheni. That's what Taz burns it over here. So the Taz says a Chiddush, the, the Mechab doesn't say anything like that. The Mechab doesn't mention anything about the Klisheni, how much of that I put it in. The Taz says, don't immerse the whole Kli into the Klisheni, because then it's going to be Hatmana. Now, pouring water into the Klisheni directly is not Hatmana. Atmana is only a kli into, the one, any into one water or a, anything hot. If you pour one food into another food, <coughs> there's no din atmana. That's why you want to put your uh, kishka in the chalant, there's no problem with atmana, because if you don't, if you don't wrap it at all. If you wrap it, it's a whole different question what the wrapping is. <coughs> but, 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 so that's interesting because the, the kishka has a skin around right, it. Right, so the question that's part of the kishka, it's not called atmana, it has to be in a kli, a separate kli. Uh-huh. For me, that's it's called part of it. Even civil for a lot of people don't make it because really it's not a kli, so therefore it's not called atmana. But here, but here it says in a klisheni you can't put the whole kli, you can't immerse the whole kli. That's what Taz learns. The Chana Menorah, the Menorah Taira says that that's the chiddush of Sifir Gimel, not like the Taz. He says the Mechaber says you're allowed to take a kitzus l'mayim and put it into a klisheni. The Mechaber is not mechalik. He immerses the whole thing. You don't immerse the whole thing. So it says the Menorah Tahira, that is the Chiddush of, of Sif Yud, Yud Gimel. If you're allowed to take a Kli that has something in it and totally emerge it into a Kli Shani, even though it's hot. You know, tomorrow it's a problem when it's hot. Something is hot, and I'll be mad when I What's the harm in the that the Mahabra would allow that? I mean, he, he's, he, he's, he has a problem with the Mitzvah. Yeah, but the question is, he says a Kli Shani is not the and if you remember, we learned the Dini Hatmana, we wrote Kamarayas that there's no Din Hatmana by a Klisheni. Once something's in a Klisheni, it's not called Hat. It's not called Hatmana. It's not called of Heaven. That's so, I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize that. So, <coughs> something in a Klisheni? Well, we still were for putting a baby, taking a baby bottle. So that was a question. Or it up in a, in a, in a... It put in hot water, but the, but the cooler that's a Klisheni, there's no problem. But I think we came out that certainly the, the Mr. Burak, right? We say that, that so what you have over there? Do a complete hatmana. Right, and that's even a cliche. We came out that shouldn't shouldn't emerge a baby bottle, put it there uh, completely underwater. Do you know what Burak is? He puts stuff in the water. If the bottle is heavy, it'll go right to the bottom. If it's partially full. You're right. It's a little yeah, people use it look dead. They leave something. I'm saying, if you have an eight-ounce bottle of water and you're going to put it into a washing cup, then you say, do we say then that if the liquid in the bottle is below the level of the water, that might be hot water? Correct. Oh, that's that's a much as then of of its own. That's even that's even that's a problem. Problem. That's even right. if you leave some of the water to right. even if you leave some of the bottle. The, bottom, yeah. the liquid water. is submerged. Correct. Yeah. Right. 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 So mm-hmm. it's even bigger problem. Right. But um, that's that's that's, that's, that's 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 something that happens every day for sure. People do that all the time. Right. So I'm exactly. surprised to hear that you don't worry about that one and it's changing. I think we are worried. I think we think the machaber might not be. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying how the dinner works in the evening machaber because machaber is questions for one of the mixes. Right. So as soon as you put the bottle in, you'll better. You go probably. Right. Okay, should we all go home now? Have you looked in the Elm Hat Ration Zion? See if, hey. There says the opposite. There says that something is in a klisheni, you have be matminit with dover, you have be matminit with dover she'enim as in heaven. But this is the opposite. There it says the loch is with dover with dover and moist of heaven, with dover she'enim as in heaven. You now be matminit klisheni. You now take a klisheni and be matminit with dover and moist of with dover she'enim moist of heaven. I don't have moist. You now be mad with anything in a moist of heaven. In the end of moist of heaven, you could you could put uh, something cold in the end of moist of heaven. So anything that's under clearishine, 
you're not to be matmin but davar she'ain in moitz of heaven. So it says if you take it out of a kli mishen, you put it into kli sheni, even though it's hot, you're not to be matmin but davar she'ain in moitz of heaven. That's the sif hey. But we didn't speak about being matmin in a kli sheni. I don't remember having that in Atmon yet. Well, but that is a bit, but that is cliche. Yeah, but that's a cliche. You take a cliche. 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 No, but they be matman the cliche. Not in a cliche. We we spoke about a cliche because the Taz there brings down this idea. The what? That um, about about uh, Hatmana, uh, it's it's a Taz and a prima godim that are uh, that that um, um, in the, specifically in the case of the uh, of the bottle. Yeah, so we had the original chess, we had it. We had in the um, Rational Ches. Yeah, we had yeah, Rational Ches. Yeah, the Rational Ches is where it speaks about the Tatus with us over there. Yeah, it's an album. Yeah. Yeah, Taz and Shlach said, Sifka and Aleph over there. The Shmur brings down a Machlokas over here, the Be'er Loch and Rechon Ches. How hot it has to be in the Klishe, if you live map in there or not. Okay. So the Be'er Loch and the Be'er Loch and the Be'er Loch and the Be'er Loch and a lot of friends hold that if it's not, if it's not going to make the thing that you be mapped in. So you have to love this boy, then it's not called Mahmoud Lover and Moses of Heaven. By Ikhlu So, how do we come out with the Allah? Oh, so Allah is on, on a baby. Oh, so the Mahmoud said, Tat is Mahmoud. We have a Tat of the Khan of Menorah. We're not going to go to the Khan of Menorah. We'll go to Taz over the Khan of Menorah. No question about that. And the Taz says, You're not going to be Mahmoud and Ikhlu Shaini. If it's hot, you're not going to be Mahmoud and Ikhlu Shaini. So, if you, if, you could get, if you could get to Yat Ladder's boy, then it's a problem according to the Taz, for sure. If you can't get the Yatsal Ladis boy, the Bir Alocha brings down a lot of makilim and stimulation of chas. So you take a baby bottle, you want to be matmin it in, the, in hot water, and it won't get to the Yatsal Ladis boy, so you, you have, there's, there's, there's muck in the hukum. If, so if the water can't. If, if the water in the, ba- the, ba- the bottle, the, the, the formula won't get the Yatsal Ladis boy, then there's, there's, a lot, there's a lot of... Not because you're going to take it out quickly. No, no. no. Because no. it just it's cannot. It won't care. It can't care. Right. It can't care. So initially you don't have, and has money you won't have. Initially you don't have... If, 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 if it's not... If but it's a cliché. It's a cliché. It's a cliché. And it's a cliché. Right? Correct. Correct. So and you might have to the Which you want to have in the CSL, but you want to have. It's already cooked. It's pasteurized. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so what do you have? Initially, you don't have. Initially, you don't have. No. And the only question is where you left the patmana. Patmana. <laughs> and usually, usually you, take, you, put, you put the, the baby bottles into hot water. It doesn't get the CSL at this point. No, never. Right, but the issue yeah. here is Hatmana, no, no. So, so you have a cooler, you have a cooler, there'd be a lot of simulation in Ches, that if you won't get to Yatsal at this point, it won't be a problem about Hatmana and Nikhil Shani. And you have a theory of the, of the Renoir and Tahirah, that's Medayah from the Mechabim. So then... The Taz, is, the Taz brings down... The Taz brings down a Fumra, <laughs> and he, he, this is bringing down from the, from the, from the Shulchan Aruch. Taz is Chumra, and simulation of Ches is his own Chumra. If you read the Mechaber here and see if you're Gimel, the Chayyim, you see the first like the Menorah Torah. He's not Mechaber, he says, Mutter, 
ליתן קיטים של מים, או של שר משקים, בקלישייני, שיש במים חמים. תמיד המחמד הוא אייט סזד, זה אולי לפוט את ג'וג אוף וואטר אינטו האט וואטר אנד ג'אבוס. סזד את האז, it's talking about where the top is taking out. If you read the Mechaber, it doesn't say that. No. So the Noyan Torah has, has, a, has a good smack from the Mechaber to be makele in a klisheni. Well, it, basically the klisheni doesn't have a source of heat, so it's still cooling down as you're putting the bottle. So right. Before you're not going to get to your source of heat. Yeah, but that's, that's, you could get to your source of Let's say it's a real, it's a real, real hot. It's, it's a abati, let's say. In the Mechaber, it it's not Mechaber. The Mechaber is master, you can take a hot, uh, you take cold water in a jug and put it in a cliche, there's no problem with mono. So that's what Binarajar is saying? Saying that there's no hot mono. Right. Binarajar says the Kiddush of Gimel is that there's no hot mono on a cliche, in a cliche. Yeah. And you read the Mechaber, the Mechaber reads that way. He's not Mechaber, how are you putting it into the cliche? The Taz says, no, it's talking about a case where the top is sticking out. So you can use it for a tzirif if you want. Fine. Then the beginning of the Taz, the Taz says that if, if you take, if you, if you show you, if you, if you dish out with a kli, uh, that kli becomes like a kli we show you. So if you look at the Mr. Bruce Steve Cotton, Hey Zion, the Bruce and the Taz, the Klisheni, Klisheni, Mikvi Kishi Iru, Min Kli we show you. Shere Tichu Echama V'Taycha V'Taycha Kli Zer. A mother that filled him with yats letters boy, he let put it in there even though it's yats letters boy. Avo the Mishoyev, quickly break on. If you take it out with an empty clean, a ladle, you draw water with the with an empty clean, mitzay quickly rishon. Yes, Oimrim, he did not quickly rishon. Some people say that thing is didn't like quickly rishon. So the Mishnah the Mishnah doesn't go like the Talmud for sure of quickly rishon. And therefore he says, Wafrat and Masha ha klireka betoichai at shamale resicha vada mikle klirishai. Then it's for sure called a klirishai. So again, in practical terms, a label today when we dip it into the soup. So if, if, it, if, it is, if you don't keep it, we don't give it, give it a din of a klirishai unless it's hot. The ladle gets hot. Leave it long enough, the ladle itself becomes hot. And it'll be so hot. You go in and take it out. It's still hot. It's still hot. If, you do it, if you do it a few times, it gets very hot. Later. The Taz won't use it for a cooler. Right. That means you want to use it to clean, pour it into it as a, a klishlishi. Taz won't use it. Taz says, only the chumra will the cooler. So, so in point but of fact, therefore, the ladle, when you pour it into your bowl, it's irrequely rishon. Correct. According to Taz, it's irrequely rishon. Correct. Mm -hmm. And now in the bowl, it's only a cliche. Right. But the Taz would still probably allow to add bread to the baby bottle. Well, it's called the From a Tzad, maybe. And that's what the Taz, otherwise you do. The Mishnah brought that down. Yeah, but the Mishnah brought all the Tzirus in, right? The Mishnah brought down a Hetar. The Mishnah brought down a Hetar of a Klish Lishi by Chal Yabishu. Right. <coughs> no, not all squishy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Combined with the fact that double, double, double right, to the Tia Akabisho, the Mishlak Yeah. Yeah. But to put that that same ladle that we're saying is a Kliwishan and a Chumar, to put it back in, into the Kliwishan, um, that would be for. Exactly. You might say that's a cliche. Yeah. yeah. Is that yeah. like Is that what they possibly refer to when they say or the Chumar? Yeah. I mean, the Chumar, that's what we spoke of last week. Yeah. You know, if you take, if you empty, if, you, if the ladle's empty, you only have some drops of water on it. Let's say it's not empty. You, you put it in, and then they say, no, we don't want soup yet, so you want to put it back. They want to pour it back into the Into the Into the soup. So the for that, you might say that, that the ladle's a cliche. A cliche, don't right. Do it. Right. Right, same according, ladle. To, according to the Taz. Yeah, yeah. According to the Taz. For one situation, is called a Klevishan. Right. For another situation, is called a Klevishan. Correct. Correct. Right. According to the Kulu of the Chumra. According yeah. to the Mishabur, is Mashma. Mm -hmm. he, he, by him, it depends if it's hot or not. Right. If the ladle is hot, you can pour it back into the soup if you want. Mm -hmm. Well, to put your soup nuts in, you're also treating it as a Klevishan. Mm -hmm. The ladle is a Klevishan, the plate becomes a Klevishan. Yeah, if, you, if you do, just, the if same ladle, right? right. Yes, so yes. when you're pouring it out, they say if you're pouring it in, right. so you're, all the dinam are clean, mm -hmm. right? But uh, to put your bread in, 
the same pouring. Mm -hmm. oh, but, but what's in the <coughs> It's not allowed to put red in. If you're calling call the label of Queen Mishan, but the Mishnah Brewery said, said said you can mm -hmm. on the basis of the fact that the label becomes a cliche and you're using tirutim of 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 that. So the same yeah, pouring. Don't go with that though. Right. 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 It's, it's interesting that the Mr. Brewery here doesn't bring down the Taz. He brings down the, the, the first part of the Taz, but a ladle. He doesn't bring down the second part of the Taz, that you have to be careful that the top is sticking out of the water. Mm -hmm. Usually when Taz, when the Mr. Brewery leaves something out, it's on purpose. I wonder if, if we use that as a, mm -hmm. as a sad lahokal, that in a cliche, you don't have to have it sticking out. So we don't uh, pass them like the task. Because it wouldn't pass them like the task. Right. Yeah, the mission when he leaves something out, he leaves it out on purpose. He did, he did not see the task. If he left it out, I, I wonder. I have to think about it. Maybe it's, it's a ride that he, he argues in the task. Okay, food for thought. Oh, today. It's the only food you're going to get. It's the only food you're going to get. See if you're dollars. What the litain, you want to put heated shamayim, a jug of water, or shall sham mashkim? Oh, I've got to speak something out. See if you give them. The Mechaba says, you want to put heated shamayim, or you shall sham mashkim. The Mechaba is mashkim. Any type of liquid, you want to put into klisheni. Right. He's not worried about kalde abishal. We saw before that maybe water is not kalde abishal, shaman maybe not, but any other mashkim maybe is kalde abishal. The Mechaber here doesn't speak about Kali Abishol. Either he holds that all Mashkim <coughs> don't have a problem with Kali Abishol, or he's not getting involved in the Chumrah of Kali Abishol. But definitely, definitely water we see from over here is not called Kali Abishol. But only because the Gemara says so. Yeah, because the Gemara says water, water and Shemen, and oil, oil is not called Kali Abishol. That's what we have before in the Shari Tzin. He says, for sure, water and oil is not part of Kali Abishol. Put a jug of water or any other type of, of mashkin next to the fire. The hafik tinasan take away the, the cold from it, the uh, chill. Okay. Now you have to put it far enough that the tough, the, the water, the tough shell won't get to yatsal at this boy. Obviously, here we're talking about a tafshil that wasn't cooked before. Because otherwise, you get involved in bishul achabishul. Let's say it was never cooked before, it's a raw tafshil, or water that was never heated up before. So you're not going to put it next to a place where it could get to Yatzel at this point, even though you plan on pulling it away beforehand. It doesn't make a difference. The Hainu. What does it mean, Yatsalatis boy? It's the heat that the stomach of a child gets burnt by it. I will also look at the the bottom to Yachalis Kamem, stay Yatsalatis boy, and I'll bring it close to the fire that it could get to Yatsalatis boy. For full of Nich boy shock, Tana, even a short period of time, the topic to Nelson, that the chill should go away. Also, why? Keep in to Yachalis, Bashal Sham. Since if you leave it there long enough, it could get cooked. Therefore, you're not allowed to put it there even temporarily. You have to take it away. You can, you, you're not allowed to put it there at all. <coughs> but if it's in a place where it can't get the Yatsal at this boy, then, of course, it's Mutzah to put it there. Says the Ramona <coughs> from here, Hagar. Who are the Pedro's of Shad Vorim and Achalak Moshe and Chayim? Anything raw that could be eaten raw, also you're not allowed to put next to the fire. Why? Because we already saw before a simon creation on Dalid that something that's raw, that you couldn't eat raw, there's still a din bishel on it. And the whole shot was the bishel the rice, the bishel the rabbanon, but definitely fruit that you can eat raw, or water. We had a could be dr if you drink the water, there's a din bishel on it because without cooking it, we give it the status of Michael Bender soy. That's what we saw before, Rashi and Dalit. Anything that's raw, that could be eaten raw, but cooking makes it better, then it has a din of Macha ben Durasoy. And anything that's Macha ben Durasoy, you're not going to put next to the fire on Shabbos. Because it's going to get cooked more. Cooking more is an Isser 
Third ISO. What if it what if it stays the same? For example, take prunes. Prunes are very good raw, and they're very good when they're cooked. They don't change at all. Tell the difference between I like them both the same. So they don't change at all. So um, second. The sharp seeing later on. Right? Yeah, yeah, if you look at this, oh, we'll get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second. That's something that doesn't change at all if it has a dim bishop or not. Something raw that doesn't change, doesn't become better at all from leaving it on the fire. Just it, you like it better warm, maybe. Obviously, doing it for a reason because it's better when it's hot, but it doesn't cook out. It doesn't, get, it doesn't change the, the substance of the food. Obviously, you're putting it by the fire, you want it to get warm. So even, so even though something is better warm, that doesn't mean that it became better because of the, of the fire. So we'll see in a second, there's a short scene here, which is very important. But, but so, so anything raw, which you put next to, the, next to the fire, also is a problem of Bishop. If you look in the morning of Rav Sifchot Lama Zayin, even if you can eat it raw, still you'd rather put it next to the fire. But far from the fire, even something that you can eat raw, also is mutter. Because you put it far enough away from the fire, it can't get cooked, and therefore it's mutter. But why should you do it? It's something which you want to eat. You just have to eat it. You're not going to eat it. You're going to eat it raw. And you why are you doing it raw? And you're not cooking it, so why are you putting it raw? No, just have it. You want to warm it up and eat it raw. You want to eat it raw, even though it's something that you don't want to eat. Yeah, most people don't eat it raw. Most people don't eat it raw. So there's no chiddush on the second part of this. I mean, of course you can't put something that's raw close to a fire. I mean, we in the Mogan from it. Yeah, but the chiddush is on the first part, right? On like the yeah, the chiddush is that you can't that you can't put it next to the fire, and take it away before it gets cooked. That's the chiddush. I thought the chiddush was the first thing where we said, you know, you can leave it. Far from the fire, like we didn't learn that before. In other words, you're far from the fire, but it's not going to cook anyway. So what's the chiddush? Can't get the atzlad as well. Okay. What's the mugging of Rome adding here? But you can keep it far from the fire. But you know, we already said if it can't get to the atzlad, it's not a problem. Yeah. Does anybody define how far it's the right distance to keep? Yes, well, this one. No, no, that's already, it's too late, though. You know, oh, I didn't know. I didn't know before. It depends on the fire. It depends on how the fire is, yeah. It's very dangerous. Yeah, yeah. If it's a match, then you can put the five centimeters. You never know. Yeah. The big fire. Then you have to be shy itself. According to the number of matches. Says the Bible, if he's also detailed on Luntis, is a towel or a clear ferris or a clear man. Of, um, What's an alumnus? What's an alumnus? Towel. Towel? Towel? Yeah. Think so, huh? I don't know. It's a. It's a. Wax? It's a pigment. Wax? Is there shine? Alumnus, he's shine. Oh, yeah? Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Wax. 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 Yeah. Yeah. He, 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 he knew his English, but he couldn't say about it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. It says the Chabad says. <laughs> the Chabad says I can't find it now. I'm the Chabad to Mr. Friedman here. There's a Chabad someplace that says by by Skita that ten people can can carry an Olympus. Olympus, yeah. And it's a towel. Let's go find it. It's a waxy towel. A wax towel? A wax towel? I can't find that one. It's a sheet and Yeah, but I can't find it. Right. I'm looking for that. I'll see. Right on the Aramaic Hebrew translation. Okay. What's Alutus? I have to find that one. I'm looking for that one. I'm looking for that one. I'm looking for that Okay, if I find when I find it. Hmm. Oh, I can't find it. Okay. Okay, I'll find this in time. Google says towel. Okay, whatever Google says. Google says towel. Google says towel. Google says towel. We have a place Google and Kim Gordon. Well, you know who's right, of course. Google knows everything. Old wine, clear water, and balsam. No, it's not a lump. Okay, whatever, whatever it is. Also, it's not a lump. It's like a fair summer for Aish Lechama that can make it warm. In who cut up called Kaksha Yacha Lahatik, some that it could get Lahatik, obviously, is a wax. By this stuff, to get burnt, I am actually called the Sessir Gimbal. That because if you get put it, it gets very hot. And it could burn or it could melt, then it's the same thing as Vishal. But says among Avram, we have good to have them. The Nikolay and the Yisrael are shiatik to have davar shem is chavim. Over there, it's mutter because you don't want it to get cooked. It's going to get cooked. It's going to get ruined. Mm-hmm. Only by food, you have to put it next to the fire because it may become cooked. Because when it gets cooked, you want it. It's Nikolay. By Shein Kain and the Kalim, they put it next to the fire. There's no problem because even if it does get cooked, it's le Nikolay. So you can be make it on a sequestered one each way. Okay. See if you can't have a test, mutual and yes, and I can have a do it. The dominant is smicha, the kira, the shari, it's smicha, putting it next to a kira. It's mutual. Africa ain't double mafsing. Lama test as well. Sorry, she says, well, sorry, you're right? I don't know, maybe I fell asleep. Okay. You did. So look at the shari, it's seen. See if you can't cook your dalit. It's an important charitian. <coughs> the truth is, the truth is, before you see charitian, first see the Mishnah Guru. See if you call it Tzadi Aleph. Who are the parents? Anything raw, you're not going to put next to the fire, the Mokham she has to let this boy, even though it could be eaten raw. Hayim Mishra Asa, La Nicham, the Mokham Achoyim, La Afrik Tzinasam, Penishkach, Ache Yitzlu, La Afshan Acholim, Kemoy Shem Chaim, Gam Kain Asa. It's still Asa. Why? The Shaykh Behem Bishul, the Shaykh Bishul, why? Shehem Mishtab Chim Ayyadeh Zeh, they become better. So the Shaykh Tzin says over here, Hine Berambam, Pei Kesel Lachi Kalachi Gimel Kosov, Tamavashal Dovesh Hamavushal Kotorkoi, Oish Ein Tzarek Bishul Klal Potter. But Poshit Nero Lufin Yisdaiti, the high new dover she ain't a Mr. Beach Cloud, I did a bishop. But the Fuke Paris, the high governor, she must have been a high day bishop. So something that doesn't get better at all through the bishop, and the Hamid is no dim bishop on it. So if you had, if you had your example with the proofs and you put them next to the fire and you make them hot, they don't get better at all. Through Bishop and the Hamid, so it's a Bishop on it. Now, wait, is that subjective or, or or is it something which is to you? I get to go by the world. Sorry? Bus the of the world. Right, right, okay. Yeah, I don't think you go by each person. If you like, it's you better. You put it close enough to get to Yetzel Lannister. Something that doesn't get changed at all, the, the, the Shvach, 
through cooking it. For sure, something that gets worse than cooking it is wanting to get hot. For sure, there's no problem of bishul. Rabbi Arlen would say that it cooked out is not as good as a rifle. Depends who you ask. If you ask an eight-year-old, it's much better. Right? Because it's softer. Yeah. Rabbi, if you look in Shem Chav Aleph, yeah. Oh, that's what it is? Yes. The 10 people carrying the Alantis? No, no, no. It's, it's oh, really? Yeah, that's a, that's a mixture. That's a mixture, right? Yeah. But it's spelled differently. It's like a medicine. It's spelled differently. Yeah, that's, that's a test and one's a tough. Oh. One's a test and one's a tough. Yeah. This is tough. Yeah. Oh, so, so, we're, so we're here at a town. We're at a town. Yeah, you have to find that a lot with the 10 people carrying a towel. It's maybe a question of Daladamus uh, also. And, uh, what should I mean? What? I remember, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot of ten people. Yeah, it, it, I know. It's, it's, it's it's a tough I came up with that. We will have to find this. Yeah, but that's spelled differently. It's a test. It's a tough. No, the test. Okay. Okay. Fine. See if it has love. Dovashin is bashal called tzarchai. Something it's a continuation of sifid alav. Something that's cooked. So sifid alav spoke about liquids. Liquids you can't put it next to a fire. And the mechaber is not mechalik. If it was cooked, it wasn't cooked. Here we're talking about dovashin is bashal called tzarchai. Something that was cooked. Vu yavesh. Shem by marak. It's already cooked. There's no there's no there's no soup in it. There's no liquid in it. Dovashin yavesh. This you could put next to the fire, even though it's Yatsa Ladis boy. Why? So there's nothing to worry about. So see if you give what we're talking, see if the we're talking about double lach. Obviously, the Mechaber held that yes, Bishalach, Bishop, but double lach, so he it's always awesome. And see if that's what we're talking about double Yavesh. But double Yavesh doesn't have an issue of Bishalach, Bishop. Therefore, it's mutter to put it next to a fire. Somoch, where it's not alayish, alayish, you never could put on Shabbos. That's Nirukim of Ashul. Somoch to the fire, you not to put it. He says, but he says marak, not rotten. Meaning, if, if it's meaning marak, would usually mean a, a lot of water. As opposed yeah, to so a little, a little, a little bit. Of, if, so, yeah, if, so, 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 are we, are we learning from that that it's basically rotten according to the Mahal would actually be okay? No, it has to be the Yavish. It says Yavish. So you ever say marak? Yeah, maybe there's no, there's no liquid. I mean, if you have a little bit of liquid on it, we said that we said it's not, it's not a problem. But if it's, it has some sauce to it, even though it's only a little bit, it's very bishul Okay. So if you look in the Morgan of Rav Sifkon Lamad Ches Mutal Anicha Kenegan Amadura, the Dami the Smicha Bekira the Shari, the Alpha Gavsha ain't never mafsik be noyle be no eish, kimin she tzuchu kachomim lahachet tzas ben Amadura. So here to, to, to have to hear it, you're putting it a little bit away from the fire, but there's no problem of Mexican of Ashel. And no problem of Asa Lechatuya. Again, the Morgan Ram brings down the Khumra of Asa Lechatuya to mix the, the stir the coals. So here to Dabba Yavesh, and it's Mutter to put it, where it's going to get to Yatsal at this point. But it's still going to reach Yatsal at this point. I could be, you could reach Yatsalad this morning, yes. Not on the fire, I mean, so it's Yeah, right next to the fire. Yeah, yeah. not, not Mamish next, on the fire, but next to the fire. If it's on the fire, you get the Mexican Mabashal problem. Yeah, but it's, next, it's right next to the fire. I guess I'm thinking practically, like, how did this... You see, when our oven's saved, the fire only goes off. That's well, right. Yeah, but if you have it in a... I don't see how that... I mean, it's yeah, but if you have it, if you have a... Fire. No, if it's it's a right, it's a fire, fire. but I'm saying that without a, a, an oven, a stove yeah. top, you, I mean, how's this going to work? If you didn't put a... No, a stove top, you don't have it. A stove top is not garbage with bottom, you're not going to get the... The only thing you have is how many you put your chalapat. But it gets the asset at this point. There's no Mexican of Ashel. 
So the Dovah Mafsik. So, so quite, does it get the Yatsa Lettuce Boy on yeah. top of uh, a Yeah, you can get the Yatsa Lettuce Boy. It does. Yeah. And an urn? Yeah. You could, yeah. So you can get the Yatsa Lettuce Boy if it's a... Uh, plot does also. No, no, plot is a different story. So here's a bit, there's a big question. The Be'alacha brings down a question over here. Hmm. Says the Be'alacha for who Yavesh. You see it on the, on the 274. Yeah, Meaning, what are you doing over here? You have something that was cooked in water, and now it's dry. He took it out of the water, and now what are you doing? You're putting it next to the fire, where you can get to Yatsal at this point. Basically, what's happening here is, is you're doing a tzli now. So you have a tzli, achar bishol. So you have the mutter to do a tzli, achar bishol. That's to be a lochus kasho. And he stays with the tzarech in. He doesn't answer it. Here it dries it out, the fire. It's close enough to dry it out. What do you mean to dry it out? Because it tzli is there, it will... Yeah, it's... It's, 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 yeah. it's absolutely fine, it could uh, uh, dry it out. <coughs> So that's, that's the Be'alachas Kasha. There's a Chazan Ish here that comes up with a very, a very important hula for all of us. Well, that, that answers this Be'alachas? That answers the Be'alachas. And the Chazan Ish says, the Chazan Ish is in... Simulam mm-hmm. Zion, the end of Oiz David. Oiz Dal is a lot of uh, small paragraphs. At the end of Oiz Dal is a small paragraph, the last paragraph in Oiz Yudalad. Oiz Yudalad. He says, to answer this Bialocho, that when you take something and you put it next to the fire and it gets hot, it's not called Tzli. Tzli is something on the fire, you do Tzli. <laughs> when you have something that you put next to the fire and it gets the ass but it just dries out, that's not called Tzli. That's not called Tzli. Something that's going to get very hot and dry out, we don't call that tzli. Tzli means it changes the food, the, 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 the texture of the food gets changed through the tzli. But something that's next to fire, you're warming it up, and it just gets hot, and it gets dried out, says the chazanish, that's not called tzli. What's it called? Warming food. It's not tzli. It's not a form of cooking? It's not a form of tzli, no. So doing it after bishop, so bishop according to the Chazanish, is motive. If you take something that was cooked and you put it on the fire and you change it, you make it tzli, that's called tzli. But if you take something that was cooked and you're just warming it up and you're putting it next to the fire and it gets hot, the outside is going, but it's not changing, it's just drying it out, says the Chazanish, that's not called tzli. And that will be a very, very big cooler if anything you want to put something on top of your crock pot or on top of your urn, Shabbos, and it was bishul first, and now you're putting it on top and you're warming it up. Right. So the problem is it's Sli. Says the Korintin Chazanish, you're okay. According to Chazanish, that's called drying it out. It's not called Sli. And that's Muta on Shabbos. Ain't Sli, Acha is when it changes the texture of the food. But if it doesn't change it, it's just drying it out. Says the Chazanish, that's not called Sli. That would be a bit cooler today, because a lot of times they put stuff on top of the chunk pot, on top of the urn, and it was cooked first, and then it's drying out. Yes, bishul achar afir. Yes, bishul afir. So, where do you put your challahs on top of the? Uh... The challah was already afir. It's sli achar afir. I mean, put the challah on top of the urn. It's a sure okay, because they're both dry. Afir and sli, the same thing. Mm. If you take a chali, you want to put it into your soup, that's very bishal achafir, that's a problem. Then you're changing the texture. But anything that was cooked, and you're not putting it on the fire directly, you're putting it next to the fire on top of your chalapat, chazanish has a kula, that is called uh, drying it out, not called sli. And you get to this machabah. The machabah says, Dovash and his basha called tzorcha v'yavesh, chain by marak, mutava niach and agarav aduro. And what happened to sli achafir, sli achabishal? It says the chazanish, it's not a kasha because. It's not called Sli. Now, here comes the famous Ramah. It says the Ramah, Hagot. Tafilu Ritztanin, Kvar, even though it got cooled off beforehand, 
Why? Because that's called Dava Yavesh. Ain Bishop Acha Bishop with Dava Yavesh. Our Imur is Sayach, if it's hot, a full of Dava Shiesh by Merak, Mutter. If it's still hot and never cooled down, even something that has liquid in it also is Mutter. Why? Because while it's hot, there's no Bishop. It's already cooked. Now, the Yeshma Kil and Laimar, the Cholch, Ada, Nice, and Gabri, Asha, Akira, he opened directly on the fire. Mamish rak samachloi, afilu nitstane mutter. Even if it cooled down by a davar lach, yes by marak. Says says the Morgan of the Ramah. Some people are mekel. If you look in the Morgan of Ram, he says, who is that? The sfiel lehem. The aim bishul acha bishul afilu beroite v'nitstane. So we had before already in Siv Dal the Machlokes. If yes bishul acha bishul by a davar lach or not. And we said the Mechaber says. Yes, Bishul Acha Bishul, and the Morgan of Ram, and the Ramah, I mean, he said, we'll see what he holds in Sif Tezbov. So here the Ramah says, like this. He brings down the Makilim, that ain't Bishul Acha Bishul by Davalach, a film of Stan and Mutter, and then he says, Venohagu, the Hokel Bezer, Emloi, Nitzan and Legamri. Says the, the, the Ramah, if it didn't cool down Legamri totally, will make it an ain't Bishul Acha Bishul. That's what the remote says. So here comes the Kula of the Ashkenazim, and they hold that even though it's under Yatzel at this point, as long as it's not the sound of the Gamri, you're okay. And the Kula comes from this, this remote. The question is, what, what does it mean? What does the remote mean? What does the sound of the Gamri mean? So the some of you say a lot of room temperature. It gets down to room temperature, it's called sound of the Gamri. And I think they've been with Shem that he says, I think it's Shlomo Zalman. You probably have an additional one. Yeah. Probably bring it down. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it down. Yeah. That that as long as you 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 have enjoyment from the heat of the food, yeah. that's called that's not called the stand. Yeah. 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 That you could still eat it because of its warmth, yeah. that's called laying it down the gamri. So that's much higher than room temperature. That's yeah. a chumra. That would come out. Of, that would be a chumra. Room temperature would be a cooler because it would cool down all the way to room temperature. But they're saying is, even above room temperature, it's called it's the gamri. As long as you know, as long as something hot, something you want to eat hot, you wouldn't eat it now because it's too cold. That's even above room temperature. Then it's called the Tzal Legamri. That's what that's the that's the that's the level the Chayim gave. Now what's the Pshan, what's the Pshan of this remark? Where does he have this syrup? Where does he have this this um, compromise? Compromise. Where does he have this compromise that Lo Tzal Legamri is okay, and if it's uh, even though it's under the Atzilat So the truth is, there's a we're gonna have wrong. In Rishonon Gimel, most of the Achrayim said the Primudodim, and a lot of Achrayim say over here the reason why the Mokra the Ramah is Mekel, because the Ramah holds that really we hold a Bishul Acha Bishul B'davalach, we really Mekel, a Bishul Acha Bishul B'davalach, but we Machmir when it's a Stan Leganri then we Machmir. That's what a lot of the Akhrainim say. So what do we hear? He's not talking about a chazanish. The chazanish in Amadzai Gimel says, it's like a gzera. Chazanish says it's like a gzera. That means, really, we hold, ain't bishalach, 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 But if you're going to have water that cooled off totally, and you're going to warm it up, people may not know that that was once cooked already beforehand. They may think you're cooking it the first time, and they may say, one second, you see, you let it cook up, cold water, and everyone agrees, water that was never cooked, you know, to cook it up on Shabbos. But Bishal is, is also on Shabbos. It's only if it was cooked already once and it cooled down, is the Machlokas will not cook it again. Yes, Bishal, Acha Bishal. Says the Chaznesh, so the more holds, ain't Bishal, Acha Bishal. So if it goes under the Asher at this point, there's no problem, even though it lost its original Bishal status. But, if it goes down, Sarah Legamri, he asks this because of Xero, that he may end up taking cold water and cooking it on Shabbos. That's the Chazanish. 
And the Pirigodim in two places is the same thing. But if you look at the Morgan of Rome, it's still Rachel and Gimel. And then we look at Rachel and Gimel, we just were more aware of it. The Morgan of Rome, I don't think you have it in your Shulchan Aruch probably. Okay, I'll tell you where it is. When you have a chance, you can check it out. The Morgan of Rome in Rachel and Gimel, Sif Kot and Lamed Zion. So the Lashon of Morgan of Rome is, it's about a guy warming up food on Shabbos. So when a more cost of stam also loy malachim lahachem, a guy cannot warm up food. The sweeter lay the lidon, the sweeter the sweeter lay that we hold. The also lechamamoy midai raisa. It's also to warm it up on the raisa. Here we're talking about food that was hot out of Shabbos, and you're rewarming it on Shabbos. And the one of Rav says the sifkom lamedzayin. The lidon, the sweeter lano, the also lechamamoy midai raisa. And now that I warm up food that was cooled down on Shabbos with their rice, also loy mit gamken laakum. You can't tell a guy to rewarm on Shabbos. So the more the Morgan of Ram said, this is their rice. That means he holds, the Morgan of Ram holds, Pshat the more over here is, not that a bishop laka bishop, we hold yes bishop laka bishop. The Mechabah says, when is yes bishop laka bishop? When it goes under. Yeah, it's a leather boy. And the Ramah holds no. This Bishal Achabishal doesn't lose the Bishal status till it goes to the town of the Gamri. Then it loses the Shem Bishal. Meaning we have three ways of understanding of the Avalach. The Mechaber, he holds. Yes, Bishal Achabishal. Once it goes under Yeah, it's a leather boy. It loses everything. Yes, Bishal Achabishal. There's a Makilim that holds. Ain't bishul lacha bishul bechlal. No matter what happens, once it's cooked, it never loses its bishul status. Then we have the remark according to the Morgan of Rome, that's an in-between stage. He holds yes bishul lacha bishul, but it doesn't lose the original bishul status till it's the sun of the gamri. And once it's the sun of the gamri, now to rewarm it is an issa raisa. So in the yes bishul lacha bishul, according to the Morgan of Rome. We have a machlekes, the mechaber, and the ramah. The mechaber holds that once it goes under the atzlat this boy, it loses its bishul, the special lacha bishul, and the raisa. And according to the ramah, unless it's the sign of the gamri, it ain't bishul lacha bishul, because it never lost its bishul status. The mizir holds yes bishul lacha bishul, but as long as it wasn't the sign of the gamri, it's still the original bishul, never lost the original bishul status. And then you have the other chayin in the shot in the ramah that says. Ain bishul lacha bishul, no matter what, even if it cooled off, it's only of the zayin. And the nafkamina would be the more of the morgan of Ram over there says that if you have food that cooled down the garmi on Shabbos, you can't even tell a guy to rewarm it for you because it's an issa deraisa. According to the chazanish, the prima Godin, that they learn according to the ramah that it's only an issa derabanan a zayra. So now you have a shush to shush. Tell a guy to rewarm it is not as bad. Because we hold, ain't bishul lacha bishul, midrabana wa machme by the sound of the gamri. The Sephardim, some of them have a problem. Because once it gets on the outside of this boy, the machaber holds, it's isa der raisa. But according to Ashkenazim, it depends how you learn. If you learn like the Chazanish, that's only an isa der If you learn according to the Morgan of Rome, it's even an isa der raisa.